What's happening guys, it's Dirty Dodger, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing on with uh, the third episode, as it were, for uh, Dead Space 2. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the links below where I'll take you to um, the playlist for the, the first playthrough of Dead Space, the original game, where which was celebrating its 10 year release this year. Uh, so the trilogy was born 10 years ago, 2008, where we see the protagonist Isaac Clarke come face to face with um, uh, an enemy called the Necromorphs. Like I said, if you're behind on the story or this is your first look at Dead Space, make sure you check out the link below to take you to the uh, first playthrough. If not, uh, do go back uh, to episode one of the Dead Space 2 game that I've just started playing. Uh, there'll be a link down below as well to that. If not, make sure you check out the rest of my channel, which is basically based on gaming and science fiction. Hope you enjoy it, guys. And welcome back. Uh, we will continue on with uh, Dead Space 2. Okay, so we're jumping back into this game. Uh, the events of this game left off three years after the uh, the first game. Uh, Isaac Clarke has no recollection of those three years, although we've just woken up in uh, some kind of uh, hospital, which is uh, under the control of EarthGov, where they've been using uh, like memory suppressants on uh, Isaac Clarke uh, to kind of stop him from... Um, he's basically infested, or what should I say, infested, infected with... Uh, He's got dementia, but it's linked to the marker, and it's causing weird things to happen. So they're using memory suppressants on Isaac to try and prevent it from uh, uh, stuff from kicking off. Uh, where are we up to? Chapter or oh, chapter four? We'll just continue. Uh, so we've uh, obviously escaped from this hospital. Uh, we're now on our way uh, to meet. Um, I believe it's Ellie. I forget her name. Uh, we're now on our way to meet her. She's the one that's bust us out, and we're now currently. I believe last time I looked, we were in the. Uh, Church of Unitology. Oh, we need to turn that sensitivity down. Who knows what's that high? Oh, let's move them out of the way with Kalesis. Are we gonna go? E? Roger. Here we go back in the vents. Change. I knew something was coming, I didn't realise it was going to be her again. He just appears to be fighting himself. <laughs> so I mean, ever since he was on age of seven, he's been having these uh, kind of weird hallucinations. Uh, that was one of them. They've seen his ex-girlfriend, Nicole, who was aboard the Ishimura, which was the first ship that we visited in the first game. Um, unfortunately, she died. But he was kind of the reason she was there in the first place. He pushed her to kind of go out on... Uh, uh, a deep, deep space mining vessel. Okay. Wants us to go that way. What the hell was that? Is he coming around here, is he? Thought we could get all the way around. I guess we're gonna have to go down. It's gonna, it's gonna be kicking off in a minute. You can tell as soon as we go down there, we're gonna be uh, putting whatever the hell they were. Let's just get down there and do it. Just mind you, we're playing this game through on the uh, hardest setting that was available, which was Zealot at the moment. Uh, I've already died quite a few times in the last episodes. Quite frustrating. I don't know this game as well as Dead Space 1. I used to play that quite a lot. Ah, these are the ones that charge at you, aren't they? I remember. They kind of hide. They poke their head round from the corner and then they, they kind of charge at you. The best time is get them, to get them is once they have... Keep an eye out for their heads, really. Okay. There's going to be a trigger here. I just wonder what that point is. Regular 
once we reach the middle. This is a pretty safe place to put my back up against and just shoot plasma from. Where are they? Come on. Hey, peaky peaky. <laughs> oh, well, you got me shut away. Okay. Well, I'm just going to run out into the middle, grab their attention, and then uh, run back. Just waiting for that other one to jump out, but I had three of them. Three of them run into the uh, the middle at the same time. As you can see, it's quite challenging, this one. On Zella. Okay, let's go back around there to get that plasma. It's not very entertaining, just watching me die and die. Die and repeat, die and repeat. Challenging. Okay, we know what's going to happen this time. We're going to run to the door, then they're going to come out. So we'll just position ourselves at uh, a good vantage point. Dana, I'm locked out. There's something in the church. It, it broke the door. Hang on, I'll try to override all the gates in the area. Hurry, there's something out here too. Well, if they're all... Well, they're not coming this way. They're not going to come from behind me now, surely, he says. Oh shit, she just wanted the gates. Okay, that's what's going on. That's where they come from. Okay. The ones that poke their heads. Two ones. Okay, they make that noise when they charge. Ready? one more out there. There he is. He'll peek and then he'll run. <laughs> this is not going very well. I'm trying to walk towards him. I can't believe they've taken me one hit. It's a fly on my screen. Get off. So stop messing around and just uh, get it done. Do -do 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 -do. Third time lucky. I told you I'd be doing it during the series. Again and again. <laughs> Shame you can't kind of look around whilst running. It'd be quite useful. Okay, that's good. Data, I'm locked out. There's something in the church. You broke the door. Hang on. I'll try to override all the gates in the area. Hurry. There's something out here, too. Okay, so we know the gate's going to come down. We could make a break for the uh, the lift. The ah, we need to get to that lift there. So we need to get rid of the enemies. Go. 
Good team, oh look at it. Hello. Ready, no come next. Once you're through, do. you'll go through the funerary ring of the church and down to the crypt. It's very important you not the third. Oh, right. No, no, Earth Cup can't land from here. Not through here. Dana, Dana. Important that I want. Great communications gone down. It's a beautiful architecture. Oh, is it hiding a power node under that body? Useful to know. Uh, okay, what have we got over here? Plenty of ammunition. I ain't got time to listen to that. I've wasted too much time dying. Okay, I guess we'll continue on. Absolutely fantastic game. Uh, like I finished, uh, it's been years since I played either, uh, any of the Dead Space games actually. Like I said, I used to play them on Xbox, uh, but I've just brought over Dead Space onto the PC just to have a little go and uh, make some of these videos for, for YouTube. Oh, so. oh, that's fucking bullshit. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, this is fucking unbelievable. Face of a broken man. I'm not gonna restart it. We're just gonna we're just gonna continue on. If I die, I die. It's the hardships of the game. I need to start thinking about the tools and stuff I can use. I like that. Oh. Damn lift. Hurry up. Just want to be late. Get away. Mm. Damn, this game is very challenging on this setting. I don't know how people can play it through on the, uh, the hardcore mode. I've always wanted to do it, but I just never, never dared to do it. Hardcore mode, I think you can only save a certain amount of times as well. And if you're, you know, so you've got to be, got to be careful where you save. Whereas this, you can see, you can save as much as you want. And when you die, you kind of just go back literally to the last like little mini checkpoint, which isn't a save point. It's just a, a bit that you revert to if you die. But, as you can see, it's quite challenging. Okay, chapter five. Right, we've made it out of the church, uh, and continue on we shall. Oh god, <laughs> I remember this bit of the game. Okay. See, I used to know where they used to come from and when they would jump out, but now I just just can't remember. You know they're coming. You know they're coming from somewhere. The question is where? Which one? Which pod? Which pod are they going to come from? Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, I was on edge. <laughs> ah, it's got to be breakable. Okay, so there's nothing in this first room. See, if I was smart, I'd watch a walkthrough of this before playing it so I knew what was coming, so I didn't suck so bad. 
but whew, you're watching the hardships of playing the game on the hard setting. Oh! oh God! Uh, uh. Oh, baby! I was not expecting that. Oh! You can just hear the. Oh! Oh! I don't want to go. Oh, I don't want to go. Ah! Pick it up, damn it, pick it up. Are they coming that way? Are they gonna come that way? The gun is ready just in case. Okay, it's gonna be the next room. Definitely gonna be the next room. Just hear the ice. It sounds like it's defrosting. The stuff's gonna break out, you just know it. You know it's coming. I know it's coming. Played it before, but I just can't remember where. Ah! Okay, let's go for it. Please. Three. This is the magic number. One's broken out of there. Does that mean there's one in there? Are there people in there? No, oh, I don't want to know. Oh, there it is. Let's get some of that. Okay. Is there going to be any more? One on the other side? Just the one? I thought it was more than that. I thought it was two. Oh, there's another room. I should have a little meter on the screen with anxiety levels. <laughs> Attach it to my heart rate. Well, I'm thinking that is there for something, isn't it? It's going to be there for popping into chests of stuff. Okay. I'm going over that side of the room. I'm going to stay just here. Thank you. Oh! oh God. <laughs> I'm giving myself such a bad anxiety. It's so bad. Okay. That one there is alive. I'm going to take your. Let's see if I can go grab one of their. Uh... Save an amp. Save a bit of ammo. Man, that was tense. To make it worse for myself, you know. Okay, what I will do is go around there and grab. Dana, I think I found the exit, but it's way above me. Gravity controls are locked out. Dana. Right, I think we're going to need to try to turn this on, and when it doesn't work, go and fix it. Ah, oh, text log. We love a good text log in this game. Uh, crypt coffin's getting stuck in the tracks. Examine the tracks and systems of coffins to the crypt. One coffin was jammed for sides. Uh, release gravity. Uh, TK the coffin free. Uh, examine the track. Well, 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 well complete. Supposed to okay, something was wrong with the system there. We're going to push, push tab to escape, not escape. So we don't want to load up the menu for the game. Okay, maybe we needed to slow them down for something. Uh, let's just see. Or maybe we need to come down here to load the coffin up. Okay. I see what's happening. I don't know if you can hear me. You need to go up. Do you hear me? You need to go up. Oh, I see what's going to happen here. Let's remove this. You're going to let us do this? Oh, 
There we are. Bust that panel open to do something. We're going to slow it down with stasis, and then we're going to pick up these gimbal arms. It's going to stop it from moving. One more. Okay, there we are. That should stop it. Okay, one more. That's like something from Half Life 2. Uh, Half Life, sorry, the original Half Life. A kind of generator noise. First game. Is that the one? Okay, and then we're going to push the button. Okay, I see you're going to be tricky now. Huh? Okay, we're going to lay you down once that's stopped in place. And that one. Okay, she need two on the inner one to stop her completely. Gotcha. Blue light over there for a schematic. Yeah, I'm probably seeing stuff in. Uh, can we hit Alt? Yeah. Oh, there it is. I did see one. Read the schematic. And I believe it was V to orientate, wasn't it? Uh, okay. We off we go. Okay, we're going to shoot up to the roof. Oh, classic. We're going to V. No, Z. Or Z is orientated to ground. Oh, okay. We're gonna go up through the roof. Z reorientate. We got a like a Oh, I've got another schematic in there. Turned off. Exiting zero gravity. Oink. Isaac! Damn it! I think they're jamming our signal with a mobile device. Someone get me a take it out. on that jammer! Cool, stasis they refill. must have a gun to position near the compound. Now what? Yeah. Change your plans? Ooh, no. Store. If they knew where we were, they would have killed us by now. And the bench. Signal fading! Just follow your lead, I'm sorry. Uh, somebody turn the lights on? I hope that, hope that store didn't turn itself off. Oh no, okay, so we're good. Power's back on. Right, let's go in the store then and drop off what we've got. We also got uh, another suit available, which was the security suit. Sweet. Remember, we're going to play this playthrough without using any of that extra downloadable, uh, the extra content. At least till later on in the game. So I want to give myself an unfair advantage. As you see, I already, already died quite a few times, so... Whoopsie. And, wow. Okay, so we've got 50,000 credits, which, ain't, which isn't too bad. I've been quite tight uh, with... my security suit, 20,000 credits. Weapon bonus, pulse rifle. 5% bonus to damage, guarantees a minimum of 15 infantry slots and 10 armour. But what have we got at the moment then with that standard suit? Uh, where is it? Okay. Heavy duty vintage. I've already purchased it, so I guess we can't. Uh, there's the normal weapons there, pulse rifle. There's no schematic for... The ammunition. Oh yeah, there is. Maybe this is it. Rivet bolts, seeker rifles. There they are. Plasma. Okay, we get a couple of those. Uh, I don't know if it's worth really buying the suit there for twenty thousand. I'm happy with the one we've got at the moment. I'll check what armor I've got though. Uh, for now. Uh, I think that shall do. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Uh, what have we got? So looking at the suit there, okay, we've got 5% armor in the standard suit. 
Uh, I mean, we've got some credit, so we will upgrade and have a look at the uh, security suit. Why not? Where is it? Where's it gone? There it is. Security suit. Pulse rifle, five. It's five percent damage. Might be worth buying a pulse rifle as well. Then they come in useful for those little smaller enemies. I played the first game through with just the plasma cutter, if you remember, um, which is my favourite weapon. But to be fair, I think on, on this game you could probably play it. You could probably play it with the plasma cutter all the way through again if you wanted. Uh, but on the third game, definitely, um, especially with the the branch out with the weapon modifications and stuff you can get, it's really good to kind of experiment with heavy weapons, light weapons, uh, getting like. Uh, you can kind of fit two together so you have a pulse rifle on the top and a plasma cutter on the bottom and you can kind of mix and match so it's good to have a little bit of fun with that um, see I could have got these suits straight away where you've got 15% armor in all the slots but just to make it a little bit more fair I decided to uh, ah there's a little small health packs on the bottom there there we go cool we've got five nodes as well we will go to the bench and upgrade as uh, upgrade some of our stuff in there that's the question are we gonna get okay I'll use the bench before doing anything else because I know it's quiet at the minute the last one I need is a mechamorph jumping out and killing me right refurbished plasma cutter so one two three four five we might as well upgrade that because as you can see I'm using a stasis on the enemies and a I can only get two shots out of my current uh, stasis module, and B, they're not really staying that still for long. Uh, it's not really doing me any favours, to be honest, so I'll upgrade that for now. Uh, as for health, I think we're okay at the moment. That suit looks pretty gnarly, doesn't it? Uh, can I turn it around? Look. That's a good thing about this game, they bring in uh, extra suits and obviously extra weapons as well as you'd expect, but it's the suits, I think, that really kind of make, um, it really makes this well just just makes this game a hell of a lot better in the first game you just get the same old suit but you just upgrade the armor as you go along but this one here you get some different suits throughout the game it just brings a little bit more extra character to the well to the character i suppose i just think they're pretty cool right, okay and continuing on let's move that last bed out of the way with the, the nisus module that will open up there and we'll clamber on through. I suppose. I don't know if any of you have played this game before. Just let, write down in the comments below what you like or dislike about this game. What's your favourite? Do you like the suits? I think the suits are pretty cool. Um, weapons, I tend to just use a plasma cutter. Uh, so yeah, comment below what you use. What's your favourite weapon? Oh! Yeah, quick look around to make sure nothing's there. <laughs> it's quiet. Too quiet. Okay, we're going to have a little look up this end. Look, we've got some goodies. Ooh, 10,000 credits. I think that was 10,000 credits. And quite a lot of plasma. That always makes me... Always makes me dubious why there's so much plasma. Usually there's a big fight about to go down. And chances are... There's going to be a big fight about to go down. But we shall see. Grab what we can, Stacey. Yeah, okay, we'll just get more plasma there. Uh, okay. I guess we're still floating around near the Church of Unitology by the looks of it, because it looks like all their decor. Oh, you. These little things. Don't want to get too close. Get too close, they'll jump. Oh look, there's a there's a pin there. I could have used that. I saved a little bit of ammo. Come here, you. I'll use that on him. And I missed. Fantastic. <laughs> ah, lovely. <laughs> oh dear. Yep. 
you know, the one good thing about uh, going through this straight away without watching a playthrough or playing it through a couple of times just to get my head around it. I could have played this through a couple of times on that easy mode just to get a feel for the game and where, you know, where everything's coming from. But at least like this, you get to see me absolutely raw. <laughs> Obviously dying and just, uh, yeah, you get to see me struggle, I suppose. <laughs> Real girl! Jesus Christ, I was not expecting that. Oh, man. Okay, get away, you. As always, we're shooting the pussy yellow bit. Where's he gone? He's going to be back for more. Oh, baby. Shit. It's just going to be lots of goodies. The fly. Get away. Can't be asked dealing with you at the minute. Come on, any more for any more. If you think he's still alive. No. Search through some of these corpses. Get some extra goodies. I think we came through on the bottom floor. I'll have a look around here anyway, just in case. Yeah, it looks alright to me. What's this way? This is the way we came in, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, we need to go upstairs. Still, we're going to have a look around here anyway, in case there's anything uh, I could pick up that might be useful. Oh, there's a little something there. And it's always good to pick this stuff up because if you don't need it, you can sell it in the shop for credits and just spend it on something that can be useful. Gotta keep checking if there's something behind me. Get rid of some goodies. Any goodies. Can actually upgrade this. Oh, baby. Okay, I was not expecting that one. Okay, awesome. Oh! Here, another one. The question is, where is he going to come from? <laughs> you right there, buddy? Well, he came quick. He came down there really quick. I wasn't expecting him to be there that fast. Well. That means, isn't you? Some more of these hanging around. I'll take this claw with me. Use it as a weapon. I have the claw. Don't come near me. I'm not afraid to use the claw. So I mean he keeps having these kind of like dementia attacks. Well I say it's dementia, but it's something to do with a marker. It affected him uh, on Aegis 7, which was the first planet that he visited where they uncovered the first marker. He's been uh, not right in the head since.
Dana, you still with me? I've reached the top of the church. You're almost here. I'll be waiting by the shuttle. Ooh. Nearly there. Something's got to go wrong, huh? So this is it. I suppose this is the first look of the outside uh, since you started the game. If you remember where we are is uh, on Titan, which is one of Saturn's moons. Um, it was the first planet in the solar system to get uh, planet cracked, even though it's a moon, I suppose. So it was harvested for its uh, minerals. Instead of harvesting the entire moon, they left just a shard, which is that bit you can see there. Basically what they've done is they've constructed this base around it. Uh, for research, uh, for research purposes, and as an outpost for uh, uh, what's the word, extrasolar, I suppose, mining activity. So away from our solar system, uh, this is like a base in between. So you know, like a, a stop on a cruise, I suppose. But yeah, this is it. Quite a nice little site. In any other game, you really kind of experience something like this is in Mass Effect when you look out to the uh, Citadel, which is another good game as well, by the way. Okay, we've got a couple of nodes in here. So many nodes on this thing. And detonate a gun. Uh, we've got a save point there, but we're going to crack on just a little further. Before we save. I see, I'm so enjoying it. Oh, here we are. You're a unitologist. Of course you are. Why did I trust you? Well, you didn't have a choice, Isaac. I told you there was a cure and you came running. Why are you doing this? Why can't everyone just leave me alone, huh? You're a dangerous secret, Isaac. What's Dana? Earth That's the chick's name. <laughs> they're afraid you'll destroy their marker. After all, you did build it. What are you talking about? Well, that's why we brought you here. To build markers for us. To spread glorious convergence to the entire galaxy. You people are unbelievable! Just give me the fucking cure and let me go. No, we don't want to cure you, Isaac. We need that precious little head of yours just the way it is. Now would you escort Isaac to the shuttle and put him in stasis? The last thing we want is for him to die. Oh, it's a good job he's got a suit on. Get off me, son. Oh. I'm going to be pushing buttons for what we're going to be doing. Hey. Come on, come on, get in there. Did not get shot. angry.
And that was an epic little scene there, huh? That. Dr. Strauss. Isaac, Isaac, are you there? Geek, can you hear me? What do you want, Strauss? Look, it's over. All my plans just blew out the window. No, 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 it's not over. At least not yet. Isaac, Isaac, we, we build it. We can tear it down. What, you, you mean the marker? Do you know where the marker is, Strauss? It's in the government sector. In the government sector, but we have to move now. Now, now, now. Because time is running out for me and for us. Strauss! Strauss, where are you going? Shit. It's fairly familiar to the bit where he's in earlier, and a couple of episodes ago. Okay, let's just go that way. Let's have a little look through here before we save. Thank you. We'll have that. Some credits. Lovely stuff. Let's take a second to admire that suit. I don't think that bloodstain was on there before. Maybe he's gained that since uh, the last couple of fights he's just had. <laughs> Okie dokie, I think that will do for today. Uh, obviously, we're going to alternate save, so we're going to go up to this one here. And we do want to overwrite the game. Uh, we'll just do alternates just in the event that, obviously, one of the saves corrupts. And we don't want to lose the whole entirety of the game i'd rather go back and just do one save at a time anyway uh thanks for joining me for uh kind of the third part i suppose uh we've just obviously made our way through the church of unitology and the, the plot has thickened a little bit there obviously he was misled by someone who was actually a dana who was actually part of the unitologist and he wasn't actually there to help him uh the whole reason he's on that station is because whatever's inside of him uh, they can use to create more markers uh, and that was their plan they were going to take him and build more markers and pretty much i suppose destroy the human race as it were luckily as you just saw we managed to get away which is always good and we're now going to make our way to the earth gov sector where they're actually holding the marker and i believe the plan is to destroy it anyway guys thanks for joining me hope you've enjoyed um uh, the uh, let's play and you know as always hit like and subscribe just think of what to say make sure you hit like and subscribe check me out on twitch twitter and youtube uh, obviously i'm just trying to grow this channel as it is so i want to get into streaming eventually as well so all the support really helps you know just if you liked anything you know or you, you enjoy it just just hit the subscribe button that, that will uh, give me a big drive to kind of create more content and just expand everything like i said this is just the beginning uh, so i'm just testing the water and finding my feet but i'm having fun doing it as well because i absolutely enjoy uh, playing dead space i thoroughly enjoyed dead space one and i'm enjoying this as well actually to be quite honest so that's the main thing as long as you're enjoying it huh and i hope you guys are enjoying it too and anyway i'll speak to you guys soon uh, and we will continue on with uh, the next chapter see you later guys